Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how to set the HTTP response status code and description in web methods. So in order to do that, so normally in general, if somebody is calling our web service, we wanted to acknowledge it back, uh, kind of technical acknowledgement, we wanted to give it back. And then after that, I wanted to start some process in the asynchronous manner. In that case, you can set that uh, in our flow service. So how do I do it? You just go to new and create a flow service. And I'll just create a HTTP status or I'll just name it like health check demo. I'll click next and I'll just leave it this as an empty flow and I'll click finish. And here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert and I'm going to call a flow. So before that right as of now it's empty I'll try to call this service. So any uh, web method service we can call externally uh, via HTTP protocol. So I'm going to try that. I'll just copy this one so that it will copy the entire namespace. I know it is running in localhost 555 and then if you wanted to invoke any HTTP based uh, services then you can use this invoke directives and this is your uh, main folder name, subfolder name and this is your service. I'll try to run this service. It's asking username and password because uh, we didn't set any uh, specific ACL or uh, any anonymous so it, we need to pass some credential there so I'll just uh, pass the credential see here as of now it invoked but again it didn't give any response back basically it gave the 200 uh, response but we couldn't see that so I'll just go and see and that one from our postman so I'll just try to invoke it from the postman app which is the app for web, web service testing and I'll try from there and so that you know we can see the the HTTP response code there. So I'll try to invoke our service or I'll just better I'll open the new window and I'm going to invoke this service which we have created. I'll click send. Okay so here it is saying the admin access denied. So I'll just pass the authentication. I'll give a basic authentication and I'll just give my username and password. I gave my username and password for the integration server. I'll just click send. And if you see here, as of now it's giving 200. And if you see the raw data, it is the data, whatever we are getting it, right? So it's empty. So basically it's a empty and uh, there's a body and there's a table and it's empty. Okay. So this is the content it's coming back. And uh, there's a response header as well. And uh, it's coming like text slash HTML. That's a response. And uh, the overall content length is 75 bytes. That's what it's coming and 200. Okay. It's coming. So now I wanted to set my specific status code and status description. How do I do it? So you go to your uh, designer and invoke, go click insert, invoke and go to your WM public package, pub and there's a flow. Here you have something called set response code. I'll select that and in the pipeline, you can set some response code and phrase. For example, I wanted to set this as a 201 okay just to for this demo I just wanted to change some code and I'll say accepted okay so earlier when we invoke we saw it's 200 okay because that's a default uh, status code and status description if you look at this one 200 is a status code and okay is a description now I'll try to run it because we have changed it right see here 201 accepted is coming and whatever value we set that is also coming so this way you can set your own specific status code and status description from web methods. So here, for example, this is a health check demo. So where somebody wants to invoke and uh, they wanted to see this uh, status coming back and they wanted to validate it just to know this particular IS is up and running. So in this way also you can use this uh, set response code. Similarly, you can also, uh, if any web service request you are receiving in your environment where you wanted to send acknowledgement first and then you wanted to process it in parallel or in asynchronous manner. So then what you can do is you can use this one and after this you can use some uh, you can invoke your uh, service in a uh, parallelly then you can achieve that particular flow in asynchronous manner. So this is uh, just like we are sending acknowledgement back to the source and after that we are proceeding with our activity in the backend. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. 
If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.